Thank you. All right, we got a Geschmack Adaf tonight. It's not a hard daf. It's not a hard daf, totally, but it's Geschmack. It's got a lot of interesting things on here. A little bit, some stressful things. Uh, okay, the bottom line on pay tests on with bays. Yes, the Tanner Abonim. Okay, tonight is all about like Sachs and Shor that you're not allowed to muzzle, you're not allowed to muzzle the Ashor while it's while it's threshing for you. So Tanner Abonim, bottom line, Paras Hamarachsos Betfuah. If you have paros that are the we don't learn it from Abba. What? We don't learn the Abba. It doesn't mean anything about Abba. Correct. Okay, yeah, that's true. Out. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't. It doesn't say anything about Abba. It's a love in the Torah. Okay, but we, we as kids, we were taught we learned it from Abba. He's talking about we learned it out from Avram Avinu that he didn't let his animals graze on other people's. What that that was. Gonna, what's he gonna come? <laughs> <laughs> He's a middle eating child. Don't mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so Berachas Betua Rashi says it's it's the tavu was already soaked and they dried it in a tanner and then he's then he's then the animals trampling it. So Paras of Berachas Betua onto today's daf. But Dasha is Petruma. Did he, he daven in my yet? No, he doesn't daven my yet. No, it's not. No, it's not Yom Ravi. That's what's eating chal for. <laughs> Bobby Stein has it. Yeah. So so what? That's what he comes there for. That's what he comes. The whole week I understand is the... that. I understand <laughs> that. Yeah. Um... Some brain, some brains he had. So. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, anyways, so we are the hadasha is betchumas betchuma to my. So, see, it's basically it's it's threshing, right? Um. So, threshing, right? That's the word. Now, threshing on chumas and mice. So the Gemara is going to ask how it's possible to do chumas threshing on chumas and mice, and the animal can eat it. Once you do chumas and mice, once it's already ripe for chumas and mice, the animal's no longer allowed to eat it, right? So that that, could, that the Gemara is going to discuss in the further down. So anyway, so he's doing this. Ena over mishum balsachson, right? Um, you should uh, you don't do. It's not. Uh, there's, you're not over on Balsasar, right? Because um, since it's already piled up, so then Mamela, there's no Isser. Maybe because of Marasayan, because people are not going to realize that, people are going to see this guy is the animal's threshing, and, and this guy has it muzzled. Right? Um, why why would they think I would not give Truma some ice first? Why would why they would, think that? Yeah, so I yeah. The first thought I, I'm saying the first thought is that he did the wrong thing. Why not? He maybe he did the right thing. Yeah, well, we've discussed that many times. It, we don't understand where in Shas the whole concept of Don Lakov's chus comes from, because it doesn't seem like in Shas they're too concerned with that. <laughs> Right, we've said that many times, but because uh, you're right, if I have a good thing, a guy should think. He sees the animal threshing with with a muzzle. He should think, oh, that's 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 part of the Musa in Perkiaba. <laughs> right. okay. the, the rest of the rest of the shots is the <laughs> That could be. I don't know. bring into your house. No, if once once you're done with the process, then you're not. Then you're already chayev. I said you have to bring it into the door, not the window. No, that's that's we said. It's different. Depends if it's grapes, olives, right. grain is different, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Anyway, so he's not Aaron Basas. So Tais is really is aimed on what you're saying, David, because Tais is saying well, the regilus. It's not the regilus. So I think people are not. I think that this Tais will answer your question. That it's since the regilus is not to do this. A person is not going to think that way. Again, it doesn't answer you down the cuffs, but it's not, it doesn't sound like you're to, I mean, you should try and make it that the person doesn't think negatively of you. Right? But anyway, so my name is David, as being the hockey fan you are. So when Jock Plant put on the first mask on his face, did they think he was smart for protecting him or they thought he became a wuss? 
and they're ruining the whole game of hockey. So that, that he saw a mess the first time on the Spain was the same, same thing. <laughs> a little a little stretch, but okay. <laughs> um, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so so it's, it's, it's another thing that that analogy from 40 years ago comes to his mind. Why not? A four, I'm saying that's, I don't know, just interesting to me. Hey, fighter. That's a mess that you understand. You don't understand what I'm saying. I know you're not a farmer. Not I understand farmer. what you're saying. I'm I get not a it. farmer. I understand. Um, no, but I, I know that there was a thing. I started looking into it and then I just ran out of gas. Um, that there's only Maris Ayan. If you pop, if you're possibly doing something wrong, uh, something like that, there's epis. Whoa, 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 one second. Yeah, then you don't have to worry if you're doing something perfectly legit. You don't have to worry about my assignment. What, but what, I don't what, remember the, the again. I don't remember the right parameters. Now? I don't remember the parameters. Yes. That depends on which kind of my assignment it is. The right of the bottom. No, that's that's you're talking about. That's the Khadr 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 in business. The same thing. No, this is not. I don't think it's it's the same parameters. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Okay, could be. I don't know. I don't remember that. Now, now you're back to the Adam being Rebel Yashiv and Reb Shach. Otherwise, you can't punish anybody. Well, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so I, okay. Either way, I don't remember the Gedarim of this thing. But I wasn't sure whether this fits into it. Clearly, it does because the Gemara says so. But the question is, how? Right, okay, so I'm a name Aris and maybe bull. So what you bring my I and mean, you bring a mull, a bull, which is a uh not not a bull. Right, we're talking about a shore here, but the, you're bringing a a handful of a bowl. that a bowl, Taka. Yeah, very good. You bring a bowl, yeah, from Ice Hamin, the title of Betraskalin Shabapia, and you hang it in the basket that's by her mouth, by the animal's mouth. Right? See, they call, they refer to the animals as a female. And um, so that the animal will eat. So then it shows that you're not abandoning the animal. Yeah? So it's interesting. So when are you giving this to the animal? While it's threshing. But it's muzzled. No, I'm saying you don't muzzle it. But if you don't muzzle it, then it's going to eat from some ice cream. So what do you do? You put a bowl of, of, of grain right by its mouth. So if it wants to eat, it has it right there. Uh, yeah, that's that's where you learn that the animal can't eat the chumas and mysis? Oh, <laughs> maybe I was way off. I'm sorry. No, I, I thought this is Tevo. I think it is truma meister. That's what the problem is. Yeah, but I think... Yeah, but the, I thought the animal Trumas maybe there's an issue with the animal. Well, no, because it could be a Kayan's animal. Right? Then he has no problems. Rashi I says think... not Trumas and monsters. No, Rashi says the Stamda is not the Truma Meister. Yeah. It ain't Truma Meister Stamda. No, but this is. This, 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 this is, is Truma Meister. Therefore, he can't. Therefore, there's no place up. Um, I didn't understand. I didn't understand that he didn't want the animals to eat it. I thought he was just, I just he can get away with it. So then, why should he have to? There's no iser of muzzling an animal once it's chumas and meisers. So why should he let the animal eat? Because the the the, the what's it called the maratayan is the, the animal is doing dust. Anyone who sees it is going to see what this is literally what the pastor says not to do. The animal's doing dosh and he's muzzling it. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I, I, I listen, I don't have a better shot than yours that I understood it that it's muzzled and he still has a basket of fruit. Or food, whatever, hanging from its neck, 
like this, it everybody sees that he's taking care of the animal. Which, and another thing to be medayik from this, that doesn't mean that you're allowed to muzzle an animal as long as you feed it. It's still usher to muzzle an animal. Uh, yeah, right. What can you say is not Mara's iron? If you're going to say the basket takes away the Mara's iron, but the muzzle puts it back on. I don't know. If the guy, the thing's got a muzzle on it, what good? I look and I'll say, well, what, why did they put a basket over there? Right. That they muzzled him. So, like, how is that supposed to Correct. take it, away the Mars iron? Yeah, it has to be that the muzzle's still on. Why? But the, the muzzle's because on. Because there's no Mars iron. The, 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 the basket doesn't take away the Mars iron. It's got a muzzle. It can't eat from the basket either. No, besides that, I'm saying if if, the, if there's no muzzle, so then what do you need the basket for? The show that it the, has the, to be. He can't eat the trimmers. Of, okay, the way I learn, I guess he can't eat the trimmers. He is not allowed to let it eat. So he has yeah, but to there's no Mars. It doesn't. There has to be a muzzle. So then, what? How are you feeding it? Because that's the point. He has to. He can't have a muzzle on because of Maris I. There's no way to doing because it's true of the mice. There is a problem with Maris I, and so the muzzle has to come off. What are you supposed so then, to do? How do you stop it eating from Good. So then, why do you need to put a? You put a bowl of, of food right there, what, so it can the, eat. So you stop saying no. I thought that the basket is taking care of the Maris I. Well, Kind of is, but without the muzzle. The, mu the muzzle is an issue of Mars I. The muzzle has to go. So what do you do? We can't eat the truma. So the, the point, you have to put the, the, the bowl of the of, of grain there so it can eat while it's working. Okay. What, 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 what is this? Yeah, I, also, I also thought that it was still muzzled, but I'm not sure how it eats. No, I think he's right. I think I think Gershon's right as much what as What is this animal threshing? <laughs> Uh -huh. What is this animal threshing? Uh, some sort of soaked grains. Uh... Barley and truma. Well, why doesn't he just take one kernel off and put it in a basket and say, this is for Rachman and Glanstein? Then he has no problem. No, the whole say... thing is truma. The whole, all the grain there is truma. It's already what? separated. Okay. I can't. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, I, I, Gershon, I like your pshat. I like your pshat because I have no other pshat. Meaning, you don't want the animal to eat. So, Mamela, you, you want it. You don't want it to eat the chumas and mice. So, what do you do? Put a basket there like this. Now you're not muzzling. Right now you're not muzzling, and you're feeding the animal, and it's not going to eat your food. Right. But again, it doesn't sound like from the Gemara. I don't know. Then why is it the same name Maris Ayin? Because Maris Ayin, you got to get rid of the muzzles. So what do you do? I was say Maris Ayin. They need both. They always say I'm in. So, so, so it's Tom giving you advice. So it's giving us advice on how to how to how to feed it's, animals. It's the only way out. What's well, that? Out? So you'll figure it out. I don't know. I mean, th this is the the eitzah. It has to eat, and it can't be muzzled. Oh, man, did anybody ever hear hear feed feed a cow or something? You ever feed grain to a cow? You feed grain to a cow or a bull? You feed no. grain to it, and and he slobbers all over your hand. So if you don't give him a basket of food, he's gonna slobber all over the truma on the floor, and then you're not gonna want to eat any of that because they slobber all over the place. So Mahika Tasty, I want the cow at all the bull. So we just from, it is, this, this is just applies to a kayin. This is applying. If it's true, that's the way, way Gershon is learning. Gershon is learning that. Oh my goodness gracious! Yeah, that's the way Gershon is learning. Rashi and Tasty. When when the the the. The Rambam paskins halacha that it's a Jew's par that a koyin was 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 dushing with and and okay, but it was a koyin that was involved. It it was a koyin that was involved. It right. So there's no there's no lachsam, but because Maris Ayim, if it's dushes with you, my sir, you bring yeah. a little bit in toilet. So what's the maskana? It's muzzled or it's not muzzled? Um, no, it sounds like not. I think what I'm understanding now, based on Gershon's Horus, it's not muzzled. This is a <laughs> way of. Like and, 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 and where's the Marasayan then? No, so you the got rid because of the Marasayan. This is what you have to do. Meaning you're showing people Adra, but I'm, I'm letting it eat. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Did he say the Cohen was doing the dash? 
it's the Kayan's, it's the Kayan or the Levy's stuff. Okay, let's oh. go. We're never going to finish this stuff here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Parents is going to be listening. He's like, what? It's five to nine and you didn't even get past the fourth line already? All right. So, oh yeah. So, Reb Shimon ben Yechai, I mean, maybe Kashinim, the title of Lysha, Kashinim, Yafas, Lomen, Akol. You can even bring Kashinim, and you don't have to give the same type of food. Because Kashinim are are better than anything for the animal. Sort of like Rahman was saying, don't don't feed it grain. Right? So it doesn't have to be the same, it doesn't have to be the same food. Fine. Okay, Raminal Asgisdira, Paras Marafsis Patua. So it says that paras that are stepping on the tua or whatever, threshing the tua. Ain't no over mishum balsafsim. You're not over balsafsim. But doshes pechumas pechumo meiser over mishum balsafsim. And if you muzzle it while it does chumas and meiser, then you're over on balsafsim. Balsafsim. So now that's that right there is the stira. We just said if it's doing if it's threshing chumas and meisers, there's no like safsim. And now we're saying that there is. So we'll get back to the teretz in a minute. For nachri adosh be paras shal yisrael ain't over mishum balsafsim. If a guy, if a guy does it, a guy's not matzuva. So, um, so he's not over. I mean, it goes, the halacha goes with not, doesn't go by the owner of the animal. It goes by the person who's doing the, the, the threshing. So, kasha, truma, truma, kasha, maisa, maisa. We have the kasha from both of them. So, bishlam, truma, truma, like kasha. We could say that truma is not a stira, kampa, truma, kampa, gedule, truma. What is talking about truma? Actual truma, in which case there's no, there's no, uh, um, there's no loisafsim because it's already done. But gedule truma, which is basically truma that you took and replanted, which really means that it's a new entity, so it lo loses its status of truma. The Chachamim said, made a gezer that it does have truma. So on that, since really it's, uh, uh, since since it's really fine, so then Mamela, it's not true anymore. So Mamela, it's gonna be you're gonna be over on the sauce. Again, we want to talk about re regular standard truma, which you're not gonna be over if you muzzle it, and want to talk about once you grew the truma, which midaraisa is fine. So okay, but Ella Maisa Maisa Kasha, how are you gonna answer the steer from Maisa to Maisa? The chitam of Maisa Maisa, Nami Lakasha, if you're gonna say that. There's no steer by Misa, can't be Misa, can't be Gidule Misa. One is talking about Misa, and one is talking about things that grow from Misa. So Bishlam Gidule Truma Truma. We we know that um, we we know that Midrabanon. It's it's only a Midrabanon that can do things that grow from Truma are considered Truma. So Midraisa it's not. So therefore, there's an Isra Lesasim. El Gidule Misa Chulin Nu, but Gidule Misa is Chulin. Right. Um, now, the reason why they made a gazera by truma that it's that it has a status of tr of truma, even though it was replanted, is because we're afraid if you hold on to the truma, somebody's going to end up eating it, and then you have a problem. But my meiser, you don't have that. You don't have that problem, right? Um, because you can be paid the meiser. Tyson says. Either way, so gedule meiser chulin. It's not. It's chulin at the time. Gedule tevel. The gedule meiser sheni chulin. Gedulim of Tevel, you take Tevel and you replant it, right? And you take Maisa Sheni and you plant it. So those are all Chulin. So that can't be a Teretz. El Eloi Kasha, Hokamais be Maisa Rishon of a Maisa Sheni. We're talking about two different types of Maisas. Maisa Rishon um, is uh, that when it, if, you, if you muzzle the animal while you're doing, while, you're, while he's threshing, that's going on Maisa Rishon. Right, um, and the and the brisa, the first brisa that says that there is no that's referring to Maisa Shani, right? And why? There's two reasons that the Gemara is going to say that Maisa Shani doesn't have a muzzling issue. Meaning, if if the animal's threshing Maisa Shani, there's two reasons why there's no issue. One is because it's considered Hashem's, so there's no iser on threshing from Hashem's, or the Maisa Shani is outside of Yerushalayim. Where you're not allowed to eat it. So if you're not allowed to eat it, then there's no iser of muzzle. That's that's one way of answering. Viba is same, or another way to say it. Hava hava maisa sheni. Both prices are toma maisa sheni. But like kasha haramei or rabbi huda. One's rabbi, one's rabbi huda. Haramei or toma maisa mama gavayu. One is talking about the mayor 
Rameir that it's Meiser belongs to Hashem. So therefore, um, uh, so there's no, if you can't say, like, Sapsim Shar Bidi Shoy, because it's not yours. And Horeb Yehuda, the Amr Meiser Sheni Momen Hedjitu, so we say it's Momen Hedjit. You, you I, give. And, and yeah. Excuse me. Do you give Truma and Meiser pre thresh? It's not ready to be. No, usually it's post. Usually so it's post. So what's that case talking about? Where did that case come from? Well, that's what we're saying. Now that's actually the next line of the Gemara, right? That's how do you get a case that you're doing that you're threshing chumas and maisus? Is exactly the, that's exactly it, Ravon. So Heki Dami says, "What's the case? How did why? How do you do this? Chumas and maisus usually gets taken off later." So Gemara answers, "Pashat kigon shikdimano." It's pashat kigon shikdimah b'shibaylin. It's all about where. He took off the Chumas and Mysus when it was still in the Shibailin. Right? Okay. And what? And what did he do with it? Now it's now it has a din Chumas and Mysus. Now he has to thresh it in order to get it to be edible. The, the Yid or the Kayin? We Either that one. The case is talking about a Kayin. So you can give it to the Kayin when it's pre thresh. You can Not, give it. You can. Most most don't. That's why I'm understanding it. Um, right? You can you can if you if you so choose. But it's not right because then the coin has to do all the work. So he likes his coin because the coin's a machmir. He wants to to, to go to rent a cow and do his own dishra because of any problems that might happen. Yeah, maybe. See, but Dr. gives it to Shibalan to this Kayan. Okay, could, yeah, could be. Anyway, so you can do Rabbi Yehuda of Abay Chaima. So now going back to the to the first Gemara. So according to Rabbi Yehuda, who who we said that um that my Sashani is Shani is Mum and Hedjit, so it's also to muzzle it, right? But it needs to be inside the walls of, of Yerushalayim. Yeah. So how is he allowing the the animal? I Meaning he's saying you can't muzzle it, which means you're letting the animal eat my sashani outside Yerushalayim. How is that allowed? So Kagain Shadas Lufnim Mikhaimas base pagi. So where he did the threshing inside the walls of the base pagi. Base pagi was uh was a an extension to Yerushalayim. Right? So they called it they and it was called base pagi. Right, so it's part. It was part of Yerushalayim, so it has the same same kedusha as Yerushalayim. Iba is same. Or we say like kasha kamba meiser vadai kamba meiser demai. What is talking about meiser vadai? So if it's meiser vadai, um, that's there's no iser because the animal's not allowed to eat it. And what's meiser demai? Right, we know meiser demai that we just finished down in Mishnah is Maisa demai is that we're misupic whether Maisa was ever taken off because Amaratsim don't take off Maisa. So therefore, um, um, so since it's a suffix, so really it, ca it can be eaten. So then then it's uh then you're not allowed to muzzle it. So Gemara says, okay, hashdal is lahachi chuma chuma naulekash. Maybe we can say the same term, it's for chuma. Convert Truma Vadai, Chumas Vadai, Convert Chumas Demai. One is talking about Chumas Vadai, and one is talking about Chumas Demai. So the only problem with that is that the Gemara immediately asks, as Bishlam, a Meiser Demai Ika. Meiser, there's such a thing as Demai. Ela Chumas Demai, we Ika, is there such a thing as Chumas Demai? But Tani, we learn in the Brahsa, Afu Bitula Savidu, the Gazer as a Demai. Yachin Koyen Godel made a Gezeira, and he was Mavatal the Vidu that we say. On the Chumas and Mai, well, on the Mai, since we Gozer all the Mai, he was Gozer on the about the Mai. Why? The Fisher Shalok, the Chol Gvul Yisrael, because he sent out to all the boundaries of Eretz Yisrael, the Rosh, the Lehoi Mafrish, and the Chuma Gedayla Bavat. He saw that the people were only being Mafrish, Chuma Gedayla. They were not taking off Maiser. So because of that, he stopped He stopped the whole thing. But meaning, but the point of the story is, is that there's demai on Meiser, there's no demai on Truma. Everybody took off Truma always. It was Meiser that was that was Meiser that was the issue. Right? So it can't be there's such a thing as Truma's demai. Okay, so then what's the terrorist? Like Asha Kama Truma's Meiser Vadai 
One is talking about trumas meiser vade. That's what you take from the meiser to give to the kohen. Kama trumas meiser demai. And one is talking about trumas meiser demai. Fine. Okay, so that's the more technical part of the daf. Now here's that was the very interesting. Have a maskana there. There was no need to give an answer to that kasha. We already answered it twice. Truma truma le kasha. But it's an answer to if you wanted to answer like this, holy kasha, you can still answer the holy kasha. Uh, I well, okay, I hear maybe, maybe. Uh, anyways, all right, so me name of Sheshis. Again, this is all now into, into uh, what do you call it? Muslim. Let's say the animal's eating and it has diarrhea. So you now you don't want to let it eat because it's got stomach issues. Who is the reason why you're not allowed to muzzle the animal is because it's it's uh, you're looking out for the best as a mila for the animal. You want the animal to be able to eat. But in this case, it's not a mila for if anything, it's going to ruin the animal because the animal has stomach issues. I deal with the chazi mitzdara. Or is the reason why you're not allowed to why you're not allowed to muzzle is because the animal is going to see the food that it's working with and it's going to have tsar. So this one also is going to see and it's going to be mitzdar because it's even though it has a stomach, an animal doesn't think, so it just wants to eat and eat and eat, so it's going to cause tsar. So the Roshesh is telling us, the Roshesh says we learned it. Rav Shimon ben Yehoi Yomer, maybe Kashinim betaylul l'shar Kashinim yofus l'min akol. Right? He says that when you have that whole Marasayin issue that we said on the top of the daf, so it's it's uh, you hang this Kashinim on it, and that's because that's the best food. Shmami no mishum de mailo. We're only looking out for the mailo of the animal, right? Because you basically what he was saying is that. Instead of muzzling it, just make sure it could eat, and then you're fine. So, so if if it's that means you're looking out for its best for the for the for the best for the animal. If it's not best for the animal, then you don't have a problem. So Shmami know that that's taka true. See, then what's with Marasayan on that, David? Right? Why would you have to do something for your animal? You see an animal, it's it's threshing for you, and you muzzled it. So a person walking by is going to think you're being over on the issa, when really. It just had a stomach ache, the animal. Right? So I'm not so sure what you do with the uh, with the Marasine in this situation. Fine. Next it's child. Amazing. If, if it's, it's got the, such a digestive problem, you should put the you should put the muzzle on the other end. <laughs> because it's going to be landing in the right on all the food that uh, you got. I don't know. I don't really get that. <laughs> they move to, to use an animal for dash when it's got the, a digestive issue. <laughs> I, it's not the kind of food that I want to eat. <laughs> it's been, been mixed up with the soya. I don't know. It's, it's okay, a muzzle girl. That's really uh, muzzle. There are people who pay a lot of money for coffee these days. Are you talking about that? Yeah, but that, yeah, okay. We ain't going down that road. <laughs> um, fine. See, by the next child, Mao Shiyamar Adam the Nachri Chasaim Parasi Vidashva. Oh, this is a major sugya. Right? Can you tell, can you do Amira Laakum and tell the guy? Right? <laughs> we said on the top that the guy is not over. That's not a problem. That we know. A guy is not over on Loisafsa. But if you, Amira, and we know that on Shabbos, you're not allowed to do Amira Laakum. The question is, is are you allowed to do Amira Laakum and other Isurim too? Is the Isab of Amira Laakum only. On Shabbos, isn't it only specifically to Shabbos? No, that's exactly Lachim? that's exactly the Gemara Shaila. Is there such a thing as Amir Lakam and Cholamaya, Amir Lakam and Yomte? Is a uh, Amir Lakam? Shabbos and Yomte is the same. I mean, correct. Do we, the, where, where else in the Torah do we see a problem? No, it's not Lachim? the same. It's not the same. That's that's what the Shabbos is. Shabbos and Yeah, Ain't Shabbos and Yomte Ella. Oh, that's right. true, but what is well, the same? That's well, the Gemara Shaila. And Yontif, we use Goyim to bury never somebody died. We use Goyim. We don't, we don't bury, on, fake, we don't fake, bury fake, on Shabbos. The, we don't bury fake, on Shabbos. Second day is fake the Yomah. That's the difference. 
Uh, the, the, no, the, the first. Excuse me. Not do it straight again. On the first day, you use a guy to bury a ye. The first day on this. You can, according to some sheetas, yeah. Yeah, okay, so, according to some sheetas. So I'm saying it according to those sheetas. Okay? And a chanami, and a chanami. So Yom Tif is a little different, but the point is, is the, the question is, do we say, this is exactly the question, Zeb. Do we say Amir al on other, in other areas of Yiddishkeit? Keep on reading the Gemara. Yeah, the... the, the um, yeah, we're, we're, like uh, Okay, fine. Another That's example. Yeah, can you wait uh, 30 seconds for the Gemara to answer it? That's what the Gemara is asking. Well, let's, yeah, let's see. So again, well, Maushu Yomer Adam Lanachi Sam Paras of the Dosh, but Miam Rinon, do we say Kiam Rinon Amir Lanachi Shvos? When do we say that it's an Isser Dirabonon? Shvos is Isser Dirabonon. When do we say it's Isser Dirabonon to ask a guy to do something? We have Hanimil and in Shabbos, there's a skila. That's by Shabbos, that's an Isser Skila. But Chasima, the Isser Lav, but muzzling is only an Isser Lav, like, then we have no problem with you asking a guy. Right? I don't like, no, does it make no difference? Now, Taisvis, I don't know if this is ever getting out or not, the second Taisvis on the bottom says in Mayat Cotton, it says, the Shmita, that's another example there, okay, Shmita. You're not, a, right? Otherwise, that would be the big deal with Shmita, just get a guy to work the land. Right. Shmita and Cholamayid, you're not allowed to. So he said. So Tosfos says that's Shabbos and Yom Tov is Chada Milsi and Gazru Atu Shabbos. They were Gazer it Atu Shabbos, meaning Shvius is also within the concept of Shabbos. Of Shabbos. Where do we? Uh, where do we get? Where do we, the Gemara's answer is is the chiluk between a love and the Eser Skila. I'm asking. That's the Gemara Shaila. That's the Gemara. I'm asking. Shaila. Amir Laakum or Amir Laakum. We, how do we know it's also? Let's start with that. That's that's not even pushing how we know that it's also. Some hold it to the rice, some hold it to the rabbana. But it's, where's, it's, the, where's, it the, doesn't where's the... Say it. it doesn't say it. It's in the Mishnah and Shabbos. It's a Mishnah and Shabbos. It could be a Shlichus. There's, there's different ways to learn it, but what's the difference? I'm asking you, where is it in the same get? Where did we come up that Amir Laakum has to and do he, with else in the Torah? Because anytime something's off, if, if you learn it out to be Tam Shlicha, so then it's then it's no problem. May, am I allowed to ask a guy to shecht an animal for me? If he knows how to do it. If, am I allowed to ask a guy to, does, does it talk, is it negate anywhere else in the town? Yeah, because you need, what do you mean? Of course, it's in the If I want a guy to shecht an animal, could he shecht an animal? For me? Uh, no, because, no, because a guy way, can't shecht that me. It's Kabana, that he's puzzled yeah. to do that. Let me ask a question, Zeb. Can I ask a guy to tell somebody Lush and Hara? It's not a bad idea, Grada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm saying, why not? I'll tell you. Gamar is going to ask, can you ask a guy to, to do Sirius, to cast your right, animal? Right. So Sirius is another one. Sirius is very Nagea, but we'll get to that. Let, let's go let's a little bit more on the Sugya. The Isra Lam Loyo Dima Loishno, meaning the Gamar is differentiating between an Isra Skila, maybe that's Amir Lakam. And if it's a love, then it's not strong enough to, to make it also for a guy to do on behalf of a yid. That that's well, really example, the longest. This in the shadow. example, he said dash. No, didn't he say dash? Dash, but right. when when you're when it's when it's muzzled, right? But it wasn't that part of the command to tell him to put the yes. muzzle and dash. And therefore, he's yes, telling well, because there's, no there's, no be... there's no iser. One is to be. There's no iser to muzzle without dash. When your animal's oh, sitting yeah, watching no. the ball game, you can put you can oh, muzzle him. Yeah. That's not a oh, problem. Oh, it's not talking Shabbos. Yom Tov. <laughs> just no, no. Yeah, okay. dosh. No, it's just dosh. Yeah. So anyway, so Tosh Man Nochri had dosh be paras Yisrael Yisrael. Eno ever mishum bal sapsim. Right. So we said on the top of Rambam, a guy muzzles a para of a yid. He's not over bal sapsim. Ma'aver who deloy over. He's not over. But it's usurayika. But it's usur to do. So, right, so that's a strong raya that you're not allowed to tell the guy to muzzle your animal. So, what answers, no, really, there's no isr either. I did on a safe the Yisrael had dosh paparazzi shahad nachri over. Since the safer said that if a Yisrael muzzles the par of a guy, he's over. So, Tani Resha, ain't over. That's why you use the lushan of ain't over. But what it really means, not only is ain't over, but it means that he is at its mutter even. Meaning, so we don't have a raya from that one. So, Tashima. 
the Shalchu Leila Avu the Shmuel, so they sent the Shaila to Avu the Shmuel, Halon Turi, they have these these bulls, right, Shores, on Tomit Bays now, the Ganvin Armoi, Umeganchin Yasoin Mahu. So what they do is they steal the animals, <coughs> and Meganchin Yasoin, and they make them sterile, and then they steal them back, meaning it's wink, wink, right? Wink, wink. What they do is they leave the yidden, leave the animals outside, come along their friends, the goyim, steal the animals, get them, uh, what are called, uh, masaris them, right? And then give them back. All of a sudden, they appeared back in the next morning. Don't ask, don't tell. Give all the, right? So they're asking Shmuel. What's the story with these things? So, I mean, this is what we call a good Aren't old Aren't you haram. telling that to, all, to, to do all the people on doors? Aren't you telling them to do that? Ah, 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 ah. That's okay. We got to get to that. It's it's a shvera thing. So, Shalach Lahu, so he sent back to them, Avu the Shmuel sent back to them, Haroma is Sabadu. They're doing a scam. Haroma, right? Irimu Alayu be his davnin. So, what we're going to do with Haroma on them and make them sell it. It's a knas. And this is the way we pass in the Shulchan Aruch. If a, if a Yid, Gives makes a scam and he gives his he gives his animal to a guy to be misarisit. Then the knas is that the guy has to sell it, and that that is the din. So then the Gemara says, so you see, Amir is isn't awesome. That an, isn't that an iser on a guy to do that also? Well, that's, that's, let's see the next Gemara. So Rapapa b'nei Marava Savri Lakarav Chitka. So Rapapa said it's not a riot. Right, because the Bnei Marava, like Rahu just said, held like Rav Chitka the Amr Bnei Noach Metzuvah Nala Sirus, because he held like the Bnei Noach Amr Metzuvah on Sirus, meaning there is an Isser to Bnei Noach to do the Bakavri Mishum Lech Neiver Lasita and Mirshol. If you give it to the guy, so then and the guy does it, so he has an Isser Dairaisa. So Memela, you're even on Lech Neiver Lasita and Mirshol. So not Shav Mitzvah Bnei Noach is eight. Yeah. So the question is, which one? Which one does it fall under? But that's really a sugi and Sanhedrin, right? Um, it's it's added on. It he just holds it's an added one. Yes, that's basically what it is. Um, he holds eight. So anyway, so that's what he holds. So now sova rava lemeimar yimachu l'shchita. So rava thought, okay, you have to sell it for shchita. Meaning a castrated animal, right? A masuristic animal works much better because it's not busy with the ladies anymore because you killed it, right? <laughs> So Mamela works better. So we think that you can only sell it for shita because like this, you're not benefiting from the animal. But if you sell it, if you sell it for uh if you sell it for plowing, then it's gonna fetch a higher price because it's already it's already Masuras. So it's enough that we would give you a knas that you have to sell your favorite para. So you could even sell it for as a plowing para. Then the Gemara says, "Pshita benoy gadol ki achar dami." It's pasha that if you're you're allowed to sell it to your adult son who's not samech al shulchan, I mean he doesn't rely on you. Benoy katan, my what would be with the benoy katan? So Ravachi, Ravachi, also Ravashi, Shari. Right? Well, excuse me, Rachman, yeah. you saw the name over here. Ravachi. Yeah, he says the priest passing as a child about two brothers. Well, it's like oh yeah. I uh, hear. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so getting down to the practical of this is how do we people, how do people who have dogs, usually it's dogs, cats or dogs, they get them neutered, right? I don't, I don't remember which one. One is spade, one is neutered. I think spade is girls. We had this conversation once. Spade is girls and neutered, neutered is, is boys. Neutered is boys, correct. So boys is boy. Girls is for sure a Durabon, and even by humans, it's a Durabon. It's really met by men that it's a Durais. So spaying, getting a, a, a female dog spayed is much more maker because it's a Durabon right off the bat. But a, but a, get a dog neutered, it's a problem. So of course, they only the people ask the Shaila only when the uh, the day before or the day of, and then somebody tells them, by the way, you can't get it neutered. So how do you, so what what is, what is the Haterim out there to get it neutered? The Misa, it's Shvera Heterim. In Shulchan Aruch, it brings Yesh V'yesh. The Shulchan Aruch brings Yesh V'yesh. The Ramos says, we, 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 there are, we could go with the Shittas that hold that it's awesome with the rice, so we don't go. The way, the only basic way out of it that some Paiskim are Mekel 
is you give it to one guy who gives it to, a, you sell it to a guy, and then that guy should go ask another guy. Meaning, you go to the, you go to, you have a cleaning lady, and you have the cleaning lady buy the dog. Now, on the tzad, that it's Lifna Eva, now that cleaning lady brings the dog to the vet. And now that vet does it. So that's Amira La Amira, which is more makel. How much I tell you, this is this is what you got to be simachan. Otherwise, otherwise, it's 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 schwer. Zev, you're being oichas a chamul b'shnei rashim. First, you wanted to say there's no such thing as Amir Lagdim. Now, Amir Lavir is a problem. No, no because you I'm... have a lifneiver. He's going even without Amir Lagdim. You have you have the lifneiver on the guy. So we're saying that there's no lifneiver. It's because the guy is doing why it. Why can't fire off the guy neuter already? You could. That you could do. So why don't you say I'm not buying it from you unless it's neutered? Because the problem is they usually have the dog for a year or two and then they need to get it neutered. When it starts acting up and making the sugar, they got to neuter it. It's mamash tzar balichayim. It's mamash tzar balichayim to, to do this to an animal. So Rav Unterman had a... Rav, I probably would start Rav Aaron. You're the only one that knows Rav Unterman. His stomach, right? I don't know. Anybody heard of Rav Unterman? No, who was it? He was the chief rabbi in Eretz Yisrael. We knew it from last year from the Shuas Shir because he was one of the big makilim on uh, on uh, what's it called? Transplants, transplants with the skin and the eyes. Rabbi was the chief rabbi in Eretz Yisrael in the late sixties, <coughs> somewhere around there. I think before that, but okay. Yeah. Maybe before that, whatever it was. So he, Rav Unterman, said what they should do is don't do it physically. Don't physically be misarisit. Um um, give it like a potion or something like that that will make it, uh, you know, take shrivel the testicles or something like that. All right? There's an interesting tesis on the bottom of Aleph here how they did it. So it's a it's a weird one. Sabahai, in the shiltis, in the on Amid Alf, in the tesis, okay, it brings from the shiltis. Of course, it's Sabah Lechaim. The Shailas, this is also of Sabah Lechaim. Of course, they feel it. All right? What they did, tesis on the bottom of Aleph says the way they did it is they tied. Um, onto the testicles, they tied money tight. They tied it tight. And the Nachri saw the money, so he wanted to steal the money. And when it grabbed the money, it also grabbed the testicles and that, and that, uh, that what do you call it? Right? So then that, that makes, that changes the Pashup Shah and the because they didn't steal. It's less of a harappa. No, meaning the way we understand it, the Pashup Shah, it's a, it's a harappa. You sold the animal to whatever, the animal came. I'm sorry, the guy, well, I guess the animal, one animal came, stole the other animal, right? And 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 what's it called? Castrated it and then gave it back. The way the Shilta says, or the way Tyson says, that's not what happened. They just tied money tight onto the testicles. And then the guy came to steal the money and grabbed the testicles with the money. And Mamela made it into Sirus. So it was, it's less of a haram according to the Shilta. Is there any cases with a Masara a lady, they tell her, not misunderstanding, they tie the tubes, let's say they say. I actually just had a lady this week that asked me about it. That she I'm asking you, yeah. how are you allowed to do that? It's the so Rabbana. It's, so it's a the Rabbana. Ladies, it's the Rabbana. And if it's a Sakonis Nefashis, if it's Sakonis Nefashis, then you then you have to, then you tie it. Then you get rid of the whole, sometimes you have to get it from the Machla or from this and that. Then if it's a Sakonis. But if it's not, if it's just for birth control, that it's a Sakonis for her not to get pregnant, that's not right. as posh. That's not as posh because because maybe she could be pious from her husband. Meaning if she can't, birth controls don't work for her and a condom doesn't work, whatever, you go through the whole sugi, then then it becomes a shaila. I want, one rough told me once that you could clip the tubes instead of tying. Tying them is permanent. Right? But if you could put a clip on it that blocks the tubes or blocks the egg from coming down, I, mean, I don't know if that materialized that thing or not. Whatever, these are all the... Okay, anyways, Miguel Vaiti. It's, it was either Maremar or Marzutra, and some say it was Stam Tu Hasidim. They swapped the animals with each other, meaning they did this shtick. It sounds like from the Gemara that they did this shtick to have it castrated, and then they had this knas. So what they did is they gave each other the animal, and that was it. Taisa says it can't be talking about that they actually did this because we just said you're not allowed to do it. So it must be that somebody took it from them legit. And because they didn't want to look like they did an Isser, so Mamela, then they swapped it out. 
time. Let's say you put a, instead of muzzling it, you put a uh, a thorn in the mouth so it can't eat. So when it says, that's, you put in a thorn? That's a regular muzzling. What's the question? Doesn't cause it to bleed? What? Doesn't cause it to bleed? Could be. So what's the problem? I don't know. Is that Sabar I mean, No, it's Sabar Lechaim. Maybe you'd be over two weeks or Sabar Lechaim, and and muzzling. Right. So anyway, so then the Gemara changes shop. Shabbos says Hoyshev Lo Chasim Amal. What did I lost the place? Ela Yoshev Lo Koitz Bepi Amal. Let's say it had a koitz in its mouth. So now that it has a koitz in its mouth, are you allowed to take advantage of the situation? Because it can't eat, and say, "Oh, I better, I better, uh, better thresh right now, so that it doesn't eat any of my food." Or is it also for you to do that? Right. So then, that's that's one shail. Here, bitzla ari bechutz mau. Let's say you put a lion outside, so the, it's obviously scared to eat because the lion's there. So Gemara says, "Here, bitzla chasimim aizi." That's also that's also muzzling it. Ella rovatz la ari bechutz mau. Let's say there was a lion there. So can you take advantage? Just, same same oh, question. The lion scares it, so it's not going to eat. When you're scared, you don't away, eat. It's not gonna huh? it's not gonna I guess he away. couldn't run away. He couldn't run. It's tied up. Him and Benami. Well, it's kind because, of what you wanted to do, run. Just control. I guess. <laughs> That's true. I just jump around and thresh. Uh, good point. Him and Benami. Let's say you put its, its child outside, which... Again, it's I guess it's concerned for the child, so it's not going to eat. Let's say it's thirsty, so it's not going to eat because it needs liquid. Let's say this is a real smart, smart Alec thing to do. You spread a tarp or the equivalent over all the grain, so now it can't eat. But you didn't muzzle it. You didn't muzzle it. Right? This is where the Yiddish cups get all these. Uh, That's where we get all these uh, loopholes from, right? So, so Gemara, those are all the shilas. So Pasha me ma me achada. At least let's let's at least answer one. Tani Rishoy Bal Paro Lahara Parasik de Shitakum and Adisha Harbe. Again, this is the labor wars. Uh, a Bal Para can starve his para before it goes to work. So that meaning, why should he feed his he knows he has his animal rented out at 10 o'clock to do threshing? Why should he feed a breakfast? Let it go to the threshing, and he'll eat the other guy's breakfast. Right? But Rashi Balabayas and the Balabayas in the other way, he's he's pulling stick the other way. What he's going to do is while the animal's waiting to start the threshing, he's going to well, well either that or he puts the he's going to put out straw so the animal eats the straw and doesn't eat his food, or he puts it on top of it. So it shouldn't eat from the disha harve. So what do you see? You're allowed to spread things down on top of the food. So what it says, Shani Hasan the Ka'achla, it's talking about where um she she eats the hay anyways. Right? Meaning it's gonna be mostly eating hay, but it will also eat the grain that's under the hay. So it's not a problem. What it is is that he's gonna untie the grain, not the grain, the straw in front of before the grain, so it shouldn't eat a lot from the disha. It's hay, okay. hay, hay. They hay. don't eat, no, yeah, nothing. They, they don't eat straw. It's hay. Oh, okay. okay, I say hay. I thought it's the same thing, but okay, I'm yeah, sorry. Okay. For my, sorry for my ignorance. <laughs> What's the difference between <laughs> hay and straw? There's a difference. Hay, hay is oh. a food. Straw is, is, straw, it, is straw is like straw. You know? All right. Is oh, hay okay. and straw cleared enough. Thank you. Is, is hay and straw climb? I don't know. Okay, weiter. Bomine Rabbi Yochna, Rabbi Yochnesen, me Rabbi Simai. Chasma, um, bimachut mahu. Right, let's say you, you didn't muzzle it in the threshing floor, you muzzled it outside the threshing floor. Shor bedishoi, amrachmana, vahala bedishoi. Did it say you now let him muzzle the shor bedishoi? And this is not bedishoi. I do ma loy sodish bechasima, amrachmana. Or do we say, you shouldn't. You shouldn't make sure the disha is done with chasima. It doesn't make any difference where you put on the muzzle. So I'm going to let me. I don't understand the kasha. It's like I understand what it's like one of this, but what's the whole reason you're not on the muzzle? Let's get to the core reason. Well, that's one of the tzadim. That what you're saying is one of the tzadim. What do you mean? If the core reason you're not on the muzzle is because 
Right? What's the reason? Because you you know it'll be you know it'll be mitzad the animal. No, we said on Amadalif. That what? To be to, be, to be good to the animal. But it should it should have a good time. So why? So what's the difference? Besides, why, do I, why do you need a tom for the mitzvah? What are you asking for a tom so for the mitzvah? That's tamakasha. We should have been oimid on that on Omer Aleph too. It seems like the okay. Gemara on Omer Aleph is trying to figure out tam tam the crow, which is tam That's right. The, 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 the sheet the, the, yeah, the sheet says even the man that Omer that we don't dash in time of the crow. That's only by the Gemara later on by Oman and 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 by Mashkin. But over here it's pasha. That why the Torah told you not to do it. It's pasha. It was for the benefit of the animal. So then what's the difference? What's the difference if you did it before it entered into the show or not? What the, the that's, that's a good question. That's a good question. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's, that, 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 that's that's the Rishonim that tells us. There's a there's a Rishonim that handle this whole thing. Anyway, so that's oh, really oh, the Gemara's oh. asking. Like what here it's just a technical question. It says Loisachim Shar Bidishoy Mashma that if you ma if you ma if you chasen the before the Disha, then it's not a problem. Meaning, do we take the Pasuk at, at face value? That's why I understand the question. So we can learn from your father's house. Right? Wine and beer you shouldn't drink when you come into the Oyal Sorry, Mashma. Only when you come into the Oyal Mayid. Only you can't drink in the Oyal Mayid, but you could drink before the Oyal Mayid. But then it says that you, the reason why you shouldn't drink is that you can differentiate between what's Kaidish and what's Chol. Right? So what so what so what do we have? Ella Mahos and Bashas Bialite Shikras. What it means is that when you come into the base of Mikdash or to the Oil Mayat, you shouldn't be drunk. That's what that's what Lahavdu bin Akash bin Achom and it gives you the reason. Like Zev is saying, during the Disha, it should not have Chasim. Meaning, even if you muzzle it an hour before in your house, and then you bring it over to the threshing floor, you're still over. Because the reason is because you don't want it to be muzzled while it's there. Somebody muzzles a paro, or if somebody takes klayim and he puts it together, but he doesn't, he doesn't, he just, he just muzzled the paro. He didn't do anything. He just muzzled it, or he put two different types of animals, let's say a horse and a and a, a horse and a donkey, and he tied them up together, but he didn't do anything more than that. He's part of it. like it. He doesn't get malchus. Only if you actually lead it and only if you if you dash it. So meaning the point is that the iser is to do the dash or the manik and that and that is it. Okay, we'll stop over there. Um, say a till. Thank you.